Hey, hi team. This is Venkat since 2010. So team, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is mainframe migration. So what type of migrations we can do in mainframe technology? Just intro part. In a further series videos, I'm going to talk about what are the challenges when you are doing the uh, mainframe migration. What are the things we have to take care when we are migrating from uh, from mainframe technology to uh, other technology that we will see in further videos. In this video, just high level high level about what is mainframe migration. So this question you would have heard or you, you would have got from your friends and some other resources. Okay. So or in interview they would have asked you what is mainframe migration? Okay, are you worked on my mainframe migration? So, so most of the resources don't have any clue on mainframe migration because you would have worked on support or maintenance project. So very uh, rare cases we get a chance to work on mainframe migration. Out of 100 resources, only 5 to 10 people, percent of the people will get a chance to work on mainframe modernization. So based on multiple requests from my contacts, mainframe contacts, based on multiple requests, I created the, I'm creating this particular video. So let's start. What is mainframe migration? So team, uh, it's a basically, okay, I'll take you one simple example. So far you are staying in one particular city, okay, or one particular place and you are, uh, okay, you are moving from X place to Y place for job purpose on permanent basis. That is called migration, right? So you are moving from one place to another place for some purpose. It can be job or something else. Similarly, same thing is applicable in mainframe technology also. So far, the projects or the clients are using mainframe technology for their business purpose. So their applications on mainframe technology. Now, they want to migrate. They want to migrate. So what is migrate here? If you want to migrate, if you want to migrate the from one technology to other technology. So which means that here we want to migrate from mainframe to other technology. So why we have to move to other technologies? I'll create another video for that. I'll explain in a level for cost saving purpose and okay to make the application user friendly like that. There are so many advantages are there for the clients. Okay. There are so many advantages are there for that, pur pur that particular purpose. They are migrating from mainframe technology to other technology. So as a conclusion here, so mainframe migration is nothing but moving from mainframe technology to other technology. Now, there is a question here. There are a lot of questions we will get. The entire, entire application or all the projects are moving from mainframe to other technology. It's totally depends on the client. Okay. If they want to, if you want, if they want to move from mainframe to other technology, they can do it or they want to migrate application by application, project by project. If they want to migrate phases wise, that also can be done. Hence, the clients will not prefer, will not choose the option to migrate everything from mainframe to other technology at a time. So they will go phases by phases. Once each phase complete successfully, the result is a good, then they will go to the other or phase they will try to migrate other application. Let's see uh, from mainframe to where we can migrate. Okay, so the first option. So we can migrate from mainframe to AWS. Okay, we can migrate from mainframe 
technology to the cloud uh, we can move to the aws cloud similarly we can move mainframe application mainframe migration can be done to azure service the destination is azure to other cloud so here the popular cloud services in the market aws azure gcp cloud uh, gcp in future you uh, other clouds also other cloud providers also might support mainframe migration as of now aws start aws you can migrate your projects application to aws aws is supporting azure when the microsoft even gcp also google uh, cloud platform also supporting mainframes so if you want to migrate your application from mainframe technology to gcp or azure aws that you can do so mainframe migration is something we can move only to the cloud ser cloud component cloud service no that is not exactly the meaning of main mainframe migration one option one example for mainframe migration so we can move from mainframe technology to java technology so again there are a lot of questions here you want to migrate everything or partially or uh, these are the questions i'll answer in the next slide we can move from mainframe technology to java we can move from mainframe technology to dotnet we can move from mainframe technology to sap and if you want to move only the database okay so if you want to move the database from db to oracle or so far your data the client end users data is present in the vizam file or you want to move it to db2 that is also we can call as a mainframe migration so it's simple right so you're shifting from file system to database that project also the particular work also we can call as a mainframe migration so that is called database migration so what we call that is called database migration so by this time you would have got what is mainframe migration so let's uh, try to understand little bit more about mainframe application migration it's not a triple r it is rehost so it can be rehost it can be retired or it can be rebuilt or it can be replaced let me explain one by one so what is rehost in mainframe application migration project what is the meaning of re rehost right so this is the one question you will get so the client is moving and there are all the programs all the jcls all the components of the mainframe technology to other technology that is the one question right the second question is okay only the environment so far the client using jedwis environment and ibm's hardware so they they want to use cloud service the uh, you know hardware or there might be a question you are replace or wherever cobol programs are there you want to replace with the modern technologies modern languages there is a question right so now you will get answer for all those questions rehost rehost is nothing but lift and shift rehost is nothing but lift and shift so you can move existing code it can be cobol uh, programs applications from mainframe to cloud environment so our cobol programs and jcls copy books everything will be there as it is but instead of mainframe we are moving all all these components to at aws aws uh, instance so we are going to host our mainframe in the cloud so rest of the components remains the same rest of the components remains the same so what you are doing in a rehost only you are shifting the programs which is available 
in uh, in mainframe environment in IBM environment programs copy books JCLs everything we are moving to other technology again there are a lot of questions lot of challenges when you are migrating from mainframe to cloud environment so all the programs okay so why because there should be a proper mapping it should be recompiled everything a lot of checklist will be there so that those things we will be uh, we will see another uh, video i'll create a another short video for that so i hope you got what is a reverse so typically what we are trying to do we are moving the applications to cloud-based emulator so once you move from uh, mainframe to cloud so slowly we can migrate the database also so so far we might be using db2 slowly we can move from db2 to cloud-based databases because if you choose aws they will provide a uh, very less less cost database or you can use other databases because cloud supports multiple databases. so and aws will create a uh, architecture or internal internal application or a component internal structure such a way your mainframe will talk to other databases not only db2 right if you see in our uh, existing system right team so maximum our data will be there either in db2 or file system but if if the client wants to store the data in oracle or sql server or other databases so it is very difficult right but once you move from mainframe to so cloud easily you can connect from cloud to other cloud databases so this is all about rehosting the next one is a retire so in this particular uh, retire based applications okay so all application that are no longer needed should be retired from the migration so when you are trying to migrate okay when you are trying to migrate if there are so if some applications are not required you have to retire them so you have to remove them okay so that what are the applications are required you move it to the cloud environment then implement create a new applications that is all about retail there is something called rebuild so rebuild is nothing but writing the programs from the scratch for the existing application so already one business application is there the you know, end users are using client application that is built on mainframe so now if you want to change the language from COBOL to other modern technologies okay so Angular, Spring Boot and Core Java concepts combination of the Python Java lot of things right so in that case we have that project will call as a rebuild so what is the meaning of rebuild so we are moving from mainframe technology to other technology indirectly we are moving from mainframe technology to other technology so other technology can be java or any trending technologies as per the client choice it depends on the client client business also right so in this particular rebuild what you do we will rewrite the programs using modern technologies so this is all about rebuild so replace so this approach replace the mainframe functionality with equivalent features in the cloud so what we call as software as service so we are going to replace everything hardware hardware software everything we are going to replace so that is what we call in what we call in cloud SAS system software sorry software as a service so you are going to refill the everything okay instead of mainframe you are going to use other technology for the same business requirement that is called replace 